Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here, Traveling with Bruce. I've got a review here for you. Our trip to London, staying at the Canopy by Hilton Hotel. If you're a backpacker like this gal here, you're not going to stay here. I'll tell you why you can't afford it. Uh, this is not a cheap hotel. What it is, is brand spanking new in London. <clears throat> and because Jennifer and I are in our 60s, and we have some mobility issues. This hotel was perfect for us. Uh, I'll tell you, if you like a, a brand new modern building to be in where everything is working, this is the hotel for you. Um, uh, elevators right by the lobby. Um, we got a room right near the elevator banks, uh, but not too close. We didn't hear the elevators. Right across the hall from us, the ice machine, uh, everything was just handy as can be. This is the kind of room we were in king size bed uh, working desk over there for this youtuber um, I found the internet connection to be excellent again modern building this is the key if you're gonna be here in London and you want to take an older uh, hotel you're gonna have to deal with older issues uh, that may or may not work for you especially in this modern age the room is clean the bathroom is fantastic that mirror right there um, doesn't get uh, fogged up it's kind of cool uh, fog up from a shower come out the bath the mirror is perfect uh nice room um roomy a uh, coffee maker um a fridge which i also appreciated uh, so we could pop by our nearest uh, sainsbury store we picked up some uh, items ourselves that we had coming out of the hotel look at that no stairs oh is that a biggie that is a biggie in this town you better uh if you've got mobility issues you better watch for that <clears throat> my wife uh what, what she walks with a walking cane and uh this was easy to come and go here's another thing about this hotel right beside the bus stop uh, a whole bunch of buses coming in out of here all day long we couldn't hear them we overlooked this and we didn't hear it. That's the other thing about a modern building. Uh, here's another angle of the hotel from the actual bus uh, depot itself. Really neat design. Um, a little tucked out of the way. Some of the cabbies didn't know it. Uh, they, uh, they, you told them where it was and they went, oh, I know where that is. Oh, that must be a brand new one. Yes, it is. It's only a couple of years old. And of course, it's always cool to see these double-decker de buses everywhere you go. The neighborhood around here is is, is uh, mature. It's the business district. So uh, on sun Saturdays and Sundays, it's not crawling with a zillion tourists. So it's quieter. Um, that might appeal to uh, those of us who are a bit older. Of course, the cabbies are everywhere, and we had no trouble flagging down one of these guys. These guys are everywhere, and they know their stuff. <clears throat> the architecture around here is so cool. Uh, you know, you've got a modern building like the one we're in, and then you're you're looking at buildings from pre-war, post-war, um, and now, of course, after COVID. Lots of construction going on. Downtown London is booming. The financial district is absolutely soaring. Um, don't worry about the garbage on the sidewalk. It's gone in a few hours every morning. They are constantly here uh, keeping this place spick and span. Um, no issues with uh, with uh, you know homeless people or, or people panhandling. None of that problem here. That, I didn't find it. Here's an old church that's nearby. Uh, it's kind of cool. I, I took a few shots of this. You kind of get the uh, contrast between the uh, you know the old and the new, and that is what London completely is. This entire city is uh, constantly changing. Yes, the cabbie, when are they going to finish building this place? And the guy goes, never. They're never finished building this place. They're constantly redoing it. Uh, they're preserving older buildings as best they can. There are restrictions on, you know, what you can tear down and that kind of thing. You can't just uh, willy-nilly tear down a historical building. You really got to th go through the paperwork to be able to do it. Just a uh, half a block from our hotel is this place, the Allgate Station. That's the underground. It's a small underground station, but uh, it links you into the entire city. Uh, you're good to go. Um, the uh, the uh, buses uh, are, are everywhere. Uh, I bought an Oyster Pass for, for uh, Jennifer and I. We had Oyster Passes, which is kind of like a plastic pay-as-you-go card. You load it up at uh, any of these uh, stations, <clears throat> and then you can use it as many times as you want. You're capped at about seven pounds a day per person if you want to do multiple rides. Uh, Jennifer and I, we find that uh, because of, again, her mobility issues, we might take uh, the tube in the morning 
to get to where we're going, but in the afternoon we're so dog tired, we just take a cab back and give it up. We could use Uber. Um, nothing wrong with that either. Again, uh, I just love the personal experience of a, of a cabbie. I, I guess my attitude is <clears throat> I'm old, I'm in my 60s, and I can afford to pay for the cab. And we talk to the driver and just love it. And so, um, you know, the you get what you pay for, and, man, you get service. There's the Allgate station here. People coming and going. It's my little attempt at uh, time-lapse photography. I'm just standing on the sidewalk across the street, pointing my camera, waiting for someone to say, hey, what are you doing, buddy? Get out of here. <laughs> it was a little outing we had the other day. Uh, we took the tube uh, and worked our way down to Harrods Department Store, but uh, this is South Kensington Station. Again, this is uh, not typical for the tube. This is an outdoor station in, in London. There's a few of these. Most of them are underground. The stairs are the problem, unfortunately. Uh, we're talking about a, you know, a system here that's been around for a long, long time, and not very many stations have uh, lifts or elevators, as we say. So if you're, if you're challenged, uh, mobility challenged, this is a problem. Uh, so you have to govern yourself accordingly. Uh, here's a shot of the Shard, this gigantic, tall structure. It's a hotel, restaurant, bar, office tower, all in one. I think even condos in here. Uh, Jen and I checked out uh, how much it would cost to stay the night here, 1100 a night. And we thought, eh, maybe not. <laughs> so we, we took a cheap photo of it. Uh, beautiful weather here, generally speaking, this time of the year. It's uh, May, June in, uh, in the summertime. Uh, very nice. A few rainy days, but gorgeous. Highly recommend London. It is on fire. It is happening. It's back. It's fantastic. And we're enjoying it very much. We'll keep you posted on our travels. Talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.